My name is Myra Roundtree, and I am the founder and president of Destiny Place Incorporated. Our mission is to be a catalyst for positive change in the lives of women who struggle with incarceration and addiction by providing programs to help them become stable, vibrant, and productive individuals within their families and communities. In 2008, a seed of compassion was planted within my heart. As I obeyed God, I was directed to go to the Polk County Jail to bring hope and encouragement to women incarcerated. My message was that they are God's precious possessions and that He loves them with an everlasting love and that His love never changes. His love surpasses all. That was the beginning of Destiny Place Jail Ministry. I soon recognized that the women had questions and just needed someone to talk to. This is when our mentoring program was birthed. We began to mentor women incarcerated and also women when they were released from jail. From our mentoring the women, I also saw the need um, for life skills classes. As I would talk to the women, I noticed that just as I was, I grew up too fast in life and also got around the wrong environment, the wrong people. Therefore, I knew that life skills classes, just the basic uh, important skills uh, for life would help the young ladies. And Destiny Place began to teach tackling the tough skills, which is a nationally accredited life skills class. Our life skills classes will benefit anyone who desires to pursue their destiny. The name of our project is Pursuit of Your Destiny. It is funded by Joyce W. Jenkins Fund within Give Well Community Foundation. I have a young lady that participated in our Tackling the Tough Skills classes while she was incarcerated. She has been released now and transitioned into our mentoring program. Right before I got incarcerated, I was living in abandoned houses due to my drug use. And what I, what I liked about Destiny's Place is that the mentors over there showed me how to problem solve, brainstorm, and how to identify my, myself as a positive person, as a homemaker. And I, it's been two and a half months since I've been home, and I've been involved in church. I've been involved with Destiny's Place. I've been just basically just searching and, and getting involved in schooling, which I'm going to be applying for West, West Area Adult School on August the 4th, taking the, t taking the tape test. Destiny's Place is being my mentor right now and helping me get back on my feet and, and bringing me back into society. This program is very well needed in our, in our society today because it empowers women in order to look in, deep inside of us and to show that us women, even if we come down from the gutter, God could pick us back up and set us on a higher ground and, and to lift up his name and just be productive women and strong and influential in our society today. Oh, it is ex it's exciting. It's making me feel real good about myself. My, my self-esteem has boosted up another notch. We have another beautiful young lady that's here to share with us today. Uh, I would like for her to come and introduce herself and tell us about what capacity and how she has been connected with Destiny Place. Hello, my name is Tanya and I'm 35 years old. I was uh, started using drugs a few years ago and I was incarcerated um, back in 2011. Uh, I went ahead and uh, got into the faith-based organization of the Polk County Jail and I met Destiny's Place. Uh, I was able to just be comfortable and be myself. Um, our facilitator was also very uh, comforting and understanding. I did have a lot of things in common with the ladies that were there and it just it was a really great place just to come down and uh, after work and just be able to sit and relax and just talk over 
what other areas and issues we have um, in our lives to to better ourselves with. Uh, one uh, topic that I did enjoy was the communication. Um, that definitely helped me out. My daughter just recently moved in with me and I was able to just talk to her on a, on a better uh, base, loving basis with her. Um, just to, to use the I feel and how um, not to point fingers at her and just to be able to communicate with her on a level where we can both uh, make the, the home a better place to be. Next, we have another young lady who has done exceptionally well in our program. I will ask her to come now. My name is Yolanda Hamilton, and I met um, Myra Roundtree, the founder of Destiny Place, around about four years ago. I was at church, and the pastor that was preaching at that time had asked for altar call, and so happened she was there at the time, and she came and prayed for me. And ever since then, it seemed like we just had a connection. So many women get lost by being uh, associated with the wrong people. And when you have someone to help you to be positive and, and do things to let you know that you're loved and cared about, it makes a big difference in your life. It was a subject on attitudes, and I guarantee you it helped me a lot. You know, sometimes we struggle with challenges of uh, pressure and stress, and I learned how to cope with certain things that I didn't know how to do. And it, I applied it to my life, you know, instead of being stressed out in certain things, you think it through and apply it to your life and you'll find out that it'll help out better than just being aggressive. And I was having issues with that. And it taught me how to be more positive and then the people around me, we, we can get through it. I was um, sponsored through Destiny with tutoring with Reed Lakeland. And then I figured out later on that I had enough of that and I wanted to challenge the GED. So I eventually went to take the TAPE test and now I'm currently enrolled at West Area Adult School. And I would also thank Destiny Place for being there, offering tutoring, offering mentoring, offering support and love and I would recommend Destiny Place to any female that has been incarcerated that needs someone to depend on. We hope that you are more familiar now with who Destiny Place is and what we do. Our organization offers jail ministry. We offer mentoring, tutoring, and support to women who are incarcerated and those women when they are released. Our ultimate goal is to provide transitional housing. Therefore, if you would like to donate to our organization, we would certainly appreciate it. You can send all donations to P.O. Box 3149, Lakeland, Florida 33802. Or you can contact us by calling 863-797 5518. You also can go to www.destinyplace.org where you are also able to contact us by email. Thank you. We appreciate you. All donations are tax deductible.